Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. My name is Roland. Today we're going to take the chain off of this still MS-180 chainsaw. I'm going to show you how to take the chain off. But the purpose of this video is to do a remake of a video I did a while back about putting a new chain on your chainsaw. And some of the viewers had said that they couldn't see what I was doing because my arm was in the way. The camera was in the wrong position. So I'm going to remake that video. I'm going to show you how to put a new or used chain back on your chainsaw the proper way and everything that has to be done with that. All right, in that original video, this is my old chain. I removed it. But I'm going to show you how to remove the chain anyways and how to put the chain on the proper way because there is a right way to put a chain on and there's a wrong way to put the chain on. So the first thing you want to do is spin it around. Okay, to remove the chain on the still MS-180, you want to flip this out here. This loosens things up a bit. And then you can loosen your chain. So you'll turn this dial back. There's a plus sign and a negative sign. You just turn that back to loosen your chain. Now you can see it's really loose. You can finish undoing this. This, you have to loosen this right off to take this cover plate off. And it's pretty dirty inside, so we're going to clean that while we're at it. This is just all sawdust and oil. So here we got all kinds of crap in here. So hopefully my arm don't get in the way this time. So we're going to remove the chain guide. And we're going to remove the chain next. That's it. That's all you have to do to remove your chain. So now we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and clean this really quick. And when we, when I come back, I'll show you how to put your chain on the right way. You don't want to miss this. Okay. So just like that, we're back. We got this cleaned here on the chainsaw. We got the cover all cleaned up and we got the chain bar all cleaned up. I called it a guide before, but it's called a bar. This is your bar and the chain rotates on this wheel here. And yeah, so now we're going to put it back together. So the thing I wanted to show you, when you look at a chain, it just looks the same, right? You may be new to chainsaws and you're not sure what you're looking at, but if you look closely right here, this is your cutting edge of this tooth. So your teeth have to be rotating this way in order to cut, because if you put your chain on backwards, you're going to be running up against the back of the teeth where there is no bite to it and you won't cut wood. So we're going to put our chain on with the teeth facing forward because your chain rolls this way. It has to go to the rotation of the chainsaw. So we're going to put it on the chain bar like this. I'm watching here in the camera just to make sure I'm not hiding anything or missing anything. So see the teeth here, the sharp part of the tooth? So we're going to pull get our fingers out of here and we're going to pull it around like this because we want our chain we want our chain to ride in that side those grooves all right all right so we got the top on bottom is pretty good now we're going to put it around this sprocket here the chain has to run on top of the sprocket not between the sprocket and this washer it has to be on top of this sprocket so we're going to go like this and we're just going to put our chain on here on top of the sprocket first and then see how our chain is fitted nice here in the groove along the top of this bar and along the bottom of the bar. Now we can run, there's a bolt right here. here I'll take that off again. This bolt right here has to go through here, right through this hole here on this wheel. So get this all lined up on the grooves. And we're going to go ahead and put it around the sprocket one more time. And then we're going to put the bolt through that wheel there. And there, everything's sitting loose now. The, the chain is back here on the sprocket. Your chain is around, all the way around the bar there. I'll pull this back so you can see better. It's all the way around the bar. Everything's lined up. The chain is in the right direction because it turns this way. So now we're going to grab our cover and we're going to it's got little guides on it here. So you got this guide here, you got a guide here. And then of course, 
this bolt here is going to go through here and now we can put our cover back on and we're, we'll be able to tighten our chain. So we'll just leave a little bit loose and when you're tightening the chain just make sure it rides up inside that groove of the bar. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. So now that chain is too tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen it off just a touch. You'll know when you you'll know what t tension you want your chain at. So now we got it at but right there. I think that's good. Because you'll know when you start it up and it starts to rotate, you'll hear like a howl noise if it's too tight. So I think that's good. I may have to tighten it up a bit, but I'm not sure yet. But that looks good to me. Now we're going to go outside. We're going to start our chain up and we're going to check the tension on it. And when you first start your chainsaw cold, I want to show you how to start it. You don't just rev it up really bad. You just let it idle, kind of let it... Give it a little bit of gas so it rotates a bit, but not like full wide open because your engine is still cold and that'll just wreck your engine if you just start going crazy on it right away with a lot of acceleration. So I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. So actually we don't have to go outside. I just realized it's summertime. I'm in winter mode and we got the garage door open. So this is a light chainsaw and this is one of those easy start chainsaws. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the lever, this lever all the way down. So squeeze your trigger, push it all the way down, and it locks into place here. Now this is an easy start. So you don't just crank on it. You just got to pull lightly. Hold it between your knees like this so it doesn't move. See how easy I pull on that? Now it's probably going to start either this pull or the next pull. There we go. So you put your move the lever back up on the choke here. I'm saying this is what I'm saying just let it idle a little bit when it's cold this allows the engine to warm up Okay, we shut it off now. The tension is good. I like the tension on my chain right now. That's pretty decent. So that's how easy it is to remove the chain on your chainsaw, at least your steel chainsaw, and replace it with another one. The biggest thing is to make sure that that chain is running in this direction. The teeth are in this direction, or else you won't be chewing through any trees or logs or any wood that you're cutting at all. So hopefully this video helped. You can see everything I'm doing. It's, it's an easy process. Just watch the video again if, you, if anything goes wrong. Take your time. And thanks for watching. Hit the like button if it helped. And we'll see you on the next video.